Hello everyone. Okay. Hopefully this is all working. I have no idea. I'm not sure it's all. Anyway. After much anticipation um, I decided to investigate the game pass um, so I'm here to play some Ryan Scott. I'll be playing a couple of games uh, randomly in the game pass and I'll see what I can unravel and that wasn't easy. Uh, I'll be playing a bit of Gear Solid. This is the first proper game that I've played besides the straight into this game. Um, Alright, so without Without further ado, let's begin. Okay. Hey, there we go. Sinking data for the game pass. Progress is saved. I'm able to see the quality of displays. Build my account to power up the game pass. Sure, why not? Uh, fuck it. Uh, let's just go standard. So I know this is a very old game after what I've played, right? But, um, y you know, better late than never. Uh, in a future stream, I might actually play some more Game Pass. Um, I know there's a few on Game Pass that I might actually play some Game Pass. Um, but, yeah. Tale Tale Games Fallen Order to the Hill. So one of these days. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Oh, okay. Presentation. Uh, uh, does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Uh, and what do you say? say? I say, yep, I know you did. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you kill. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. I just feel like it'd be like the reserve and snarky. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Chill. Let's just chill. 
I'm driving this man once, he, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for he's coming to one and before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. <laughs> it goes to show. Up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. His gun out. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here! Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Officer! Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. It's like, I gotta drag myself out.
empty. Oh, that's great. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Holy shit! Get away from me! He's gonna do it anyway. Like he just—he deserved the seats. Anyway, Man. that was fun. Are you dead? Are you dead? Alright, well, so what am I doing? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Hello? Anybody? Oh. Hello? There's something going on. Come on. 
coming in. There we go. Don't shoot, okay? You know what? Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. something on there three new messages message one left at 5:43 p.m hey sandra this is diana we're still in savannah uh ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel so we had to get him back to the er and have it checked out anyway he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight so we're staying an extra day Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Uh, Clementine. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us, or all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. So good. You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No. No, that is a very I'm not. Well done for observation. I want to go back into the kitchen. It's like, nah. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hi, Clementine. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did you kill it? Yes, I did. Yes. It's okay. 
I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been yeah. all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I, I think that think might be a little wild, back. you know? Oh. Yeah. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh, we need to find oh. help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Stay close. I just couldn't get to explore on that infinite number of ways to haste that does time without trying. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Oh, okay. Insightful as always. Where are you going? I ain't never oh, getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. I don't like it. Okay. This kind of sweet stuff. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave uh, you about Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. You didn't deserve it. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. You shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm her I'm babysitter. babysitter. Her parents are out of town. <laughs> Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Hey, to be fair, I don't really give a shit. What do you want to do? I. Your monsters come out. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go.
As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. <laughs> okay. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing Free. new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Yeah. Uh, we just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. Thanks, You, man. take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. She's looking at me like that. Yeah. All right, come on. This is swollen to hell. Could uh, be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. <sighs> How'd this happen? It's just a car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Uh. Just uh, out for a drive. We hit a guy. Don't look at me. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. Yeah. It is. You said we. That's it's not all. my fucking don't, your business. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Don't say shit in front of her. Your son's uh, right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh... I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll it's clean funny. it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I uh, suppose. All 
right then. So why I would have the car here? This bridge is a project of hell. It smells like manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all oh, away, huh? So I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna build a fence. There's a tractor and everything. Uh, we better get going, or we won't hear the uh, end of it. Ape. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. Die. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl was like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You have such pretty hair. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Huh. My last thought I had before seeing any of what happened was of those wrinkly sharpays I see at the clinic. I want to go right back to thinking about that silly dog. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Oh, jeez. So, uh, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? 
I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Sure. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Alrighty. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Sometimes, it's kill, be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? too close with my family. Oh, well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks.
And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Oh, now I can go to the barn. Now I can go to the barn. Couldn't go before. Now I can go to the barn. Alrighty, come on. Let's casually stroll. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not hey, sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, so yes. Family. Where's Her your family, family now? Parents? Indeed. Wife? Girlfriend? No family. I had a betta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun!
going? Okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. I know, son. I. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Sorry, Kenny. You don't need to say anything. You tried. Please. Just go. Get out! And never come back. I didn't blame you. Pop, give me shit. I didn't blame you. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. <laughs> that was the only time I feel like silence was justified. Anymore. Bruh. Look! Shut up. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We can't trust anybody. We already know that. 
You'll have to excuse her. I don't know. Or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. <laughs> and you, Super shut the friend. fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Which pretty much seals the deal for me. We're throwing them out. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <coughs> Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. <laughs> That's not You're my out. fault. We've I been feel trying like to get into the pharmacy question. since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. Uh. There's probably another entrance, maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. 
I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Okay. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Good. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. I These boys care. will work on getting you your medicine. I really don't give That's a That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. Hey. For now, get some rest. Carly's saying to You're a good I shot, so, and I'd like to know. keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I, I don't give a shit about that. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I like it. I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her oh, if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Well, that was a bit of a... Sounds strange. worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Or it needs two. Kind of Thanks. Stupid. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I mean, okay. Central High Take State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, uh -huh. not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, I don't Lee, like Cat, and I, I think appreciate your support. You. Thank you, Lee. Uh, I don't care Are you guys all right? Things. We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been. I don't long. care about Duck. If I wanted to know how Duck was doing, I would have pressed how's Duck Supply. doing. Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. 
You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. No, I didn't. Where are they? Should I didn't we go say that. Them? I didn't say that. I don't know. I well, said they're they gone. Wouldn't house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him he together. Did. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. You're still an asshole, though. And I still want your kitty kid to die, even if I do like you, Kenny. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Where is she? Looks like nobody uh, got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. I'm sorry, Clint. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just... Uh, I'm good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I I'm glad that so. Clem doesn't uh, hate me for being good. Is out too. Good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll you are the time. absolute worst of conversation. Okay. You're the absolute worst. Get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? It's not those things I'm worried about. Can I? Here, Here go. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Should fit yeah, the radio. Battery. Great, thanks. Finally. Is it, is it work now? 
I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright, I'm gonna look for another battery. Where do I find a second battery? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Come on, battery! Just gonna have to keep walking around until I find another battery. Just gonna ponder, or are you gonna go in? Oh, okay, finally. Well, he did. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Hey, that's nice. Alright, what else we got? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Yes, Claire. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> but I no, not really. Okay. okay, here we go. Uh. 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 Do you have kids? Uh, have a family? Uh, what do your parents do? Parents do. My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. That was a good job. That's nice. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. Right, no, I didn't. No further. I was ignoring it. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Because they're dead. Uh, because they're, they're dead. dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You didn't know. That's okay. Just, I'm just sorry just... for being mean. No. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. <laughs> Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Okay. How about if I press here? Ow. Big ow or little ow? Okay. Um, medium ow. Okay. Got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. 
Getting an infection I know. might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip-top shape. Keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Alright, now please let's look for this bandage, please. Ah, oh, it's the family. Find anything? Nope. Uh, it's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I like you, Carly. You, 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 you're good. At least you only said it's a clown. No one else. Alright, so what's in here? Right, first aid. There we go. Anything else? No, you just, you just, just dealt anything else. Just nothing else you want to grab in there. There's nothing I need in here. Fair enough. Okay, sure. Let's have a look at that finger. Bandage it on hurt. It. Let's see if we I can know. do something about it. Bandage. Let's get this cut. Bandage. Out. Yes, please. Track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Okay, so where are the keys? Oh, it's up there. That's what I figured. Okay, well, at least we know. Uh, keys, 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 keys. Keys, keys, keys. Where would the keys be? How you doing? Okay. 
That was very insightful. Thank you. Uh, keys. Keys. Maybe not the room. I guess you would have to leave. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Yes. found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Yeah, these are no good. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? <laughs> this is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Where are the batteries? I just want batteries. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Where are the batteries? God, I wish I knew this. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, what's this? Uh, okay. Photographs. Got it. Uh, I'm surprised really no one's made that connection yet. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I don't give a shit about Doc, but I just wanted it off me. Anyway. <laughs> I, I don't care. You can die for all I give a shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm going with, um... I was like, where did that randomly open? Uh, let's just go with that. Nah, let's go. I no, found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries uh, are It needs uh, the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these uh, are no good. Wish you could just skip conversations. I know I already had it. Hey, Carly. Uh, you ready to head out? Yeah. You got it. You? I can't much better right Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Carly, is there anyone I trust at the moment? <laughs> She's called left reach on me. Yeah. And I think I'm on good on good term with um Kenny, so I don't give a shit about anyone else to be honest. Even Glenn. Glenn could die for all I care. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, Get right out. Then, was it so hard? 
Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen. Nah, I, I don't care. Sorry. Days. No, we're gone. Up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? Nah. It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. Sorry. Nah. Uh, uh, nah. Too machine. many. You. Now Roll let's go. Out. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. Yes, we can. You guys are so Absolutely, we're going. Over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was. Well, you. sorry, Glenn. Adios. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. I would. I'm. I would leave. Why are we doing this? Can I, can I not do anything else? Oh, can I do, oh my god. I don't care, let's go. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. What do I do? Get up? No? Really? How about... Same thing. Oh. What do we do? We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. I'm not entirely sure what to do right now. I'm not sure what to do. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. We should keep looking around for weapons. I, I guess we go back over here then? I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. He 
He's not going anywhere. I don't know what to do. <laughs> God sake. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Their growing attracts the others. I, I have no idea. I can't believe I'm stuck right now. Jesus. <laughs> I just, I, have, I don't know. I'm legit stuck. So annoyed by I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look up how to pass this level. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've never been so annoyed before. <laughs> Walking Dead. Episode 1. Uh, game. Walking Dead fish. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Um, a new day. I think it's a new day still. Prologue, Clementine, uh, yada yada. Everett Pharmacy. Hotel. Okay. I think I understand. So apparently there's a pillow on the other side of the wall. Okay. Mm. That's not really what I have in mind. Okay, I, I understand now. That's rock. I didn't notice the pillow. I didn't realize you could pick it up. Okay, so what we'll have to do is 
Get out your gun. Pillow. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. I say done. That was sick. <laughs> Alright, so now I gotta. Alright, all right. so I think I gotta open the closet. Alright, so what have we got? Have we got anything useful? Spark plug, sure. Ice pick. Wait. Use like an ice pick. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these stairs turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay. Just to good. That's exactly what I was thinking. <sighs> um. Okay, so I literally can't do anything else. <clears throat> um. I'm guessing... Oh god, this is quite a, a puzzle. You. Come on. I think I got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. I didn't realize. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay. I didn't realize I would have to. <laughs> All right, there we go. Wonderful. I'll wait for him to get. Adios. Bye. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was fully sick. Grab the axe. That ice pick -sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. 
Are you two done? Grab, grab the axe. Nice. That should help. Up we go. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Why am I doing it? I didn't want to save this person. I was I did this not of my free will. Come on. Come on. Oh, hello again. You gonna, you gonna... Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's All been right. bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend no, was bitten just let him you get go. sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that when it's not christian please just leave me please go Okay, sure. Okay, okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're... Satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is <laughs> like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. <laughs> Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. <laughs> You're a coward. You're Thank an absolute you so coward. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. I really don't care. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? She's got because my gun. Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Glenn. I... God bless you, Helen. All right. God bless you, too. That was kind of rough, not gonna lie. Well, at least she died a hero. She didn't live long enough to see herself come to death. Also, screw you, Glenn. That was an absolute waste of time. <laughs> it's just one bullet. Met a girl at the end of her rope. Everyone that was all right? dark. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of Glenn, gas I can I... pick up in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Get the pills then.
Where's the... Where's the... Ra where, I want the radio stuff. Hello. How did I miss that? All right, let's let's get rid of that. Right. We have this radio now. There you go. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Huzzah! Can I get it to work now? It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WAB hey, stay nice thing. and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Go have a look around outside. Yeah, why not? Let's not go. Now. All right. No, press the wrong one. How are we doing? Good. Want to go Dragon. have a look around outside? Yes, let's go. Let's have a look. Let around. me the BB. Okay. Back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Makes as much noise as possible. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Carly's my one protection. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> that right. place is full of TVs and electronics. So what are our options here? Yeah, that's a uh, hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. 
just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I don't think you can just do that. Maybe. Let's try. Come on. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense Hell yeah. might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. You just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long. Right? Oh, it's his brother. Yeah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. distract I'm not sure I, I think I kind of was ahead of the curve there a few seconds of searching him we'll know if he has the keys TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Sorry, do I just throw the... How do, how do I throw the... I can't look at him like that. How do I throw the, the axe into the glass? How do I do it? Bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I know. Jesus, take me a while. Um. Break. There we go. Break. Meet wall. That really wasn't as loud as I was hoping it would be. But we got there. Now's the time. Run, boy. Run. Be that's careful. not running, that's walking. Keep an eye out, will you? Hey, do. I'm 
Sire were near, but knowing you were to take care of me, that helped. Finish the job, boy. Reunited with the brother. Yep. Nicely done. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> it didn't do anything until I yelled at you. <laughs> Idiots. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I'm so trusting. The key. I, I don't give Great. a shit about you guys. Still. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I don't care about you guys whatsoever. Let's go. All right. Let's rock. Oh no! Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. It's the alarm. Nicely done. Now everyone's ready. Slumber away there. I'm gonna save one of these people. And I have to just, and I'm now. Uh, nah. Yeah, I'll save one. Save one. Save one. Save one. Save one. 
save her. <laughs> you couldn't save me either, they wouldn't let me save her. She saved us skin beforehand. Right. You're dead. How did I die? I was neither of those people. Ah, I can't skip it. God damn it. Just gotta watch this whole cutscene again. Uh, you know what? This is the worst punishment ever. I just wanted to save Carly. That's all I wanted to do. But you just couldn't. Just couldn't make that easy. If I would call you a good friend, like I, I'm still gonna let him die. Like I'm gonna let Duck die, and I'm gonna let the old guy die. Cause I really don't give a shit about either of you. <laughs> you look pretty chipper for a guy that is having heart palpitations. With Hey, 
Go ahead. I think I need to go. All right, so anyway, Glenn. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I don't care about you, Lily. Adios. I give zero shits about you, Lily. Sorry, I'll make that very clear. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Sorry. Adios. <laughs> this no please shit up. It's next to it. <laughs> Alright. There you go, guys. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kitty. I got your back, pal. Carly, how you doing, Carly? How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. No, I couldn't. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, yep. I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carl. Yeah. Me too. That was unfortunate. Uh, is he bothering you? I just, I you wouldn't have thrown my finger at him right now. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Cool okay, a minute. sorry. <laughs> I remember that line for some reason. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's, I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. I really don't. Deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Oh my what god, shut up, Doug. You like my daughter? No. She's fine. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter, or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are, 
And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. I don't hey, shit. Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Uh, I wish that was the case. Because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I really don't care. <laughs> ah, that's what we call hubris. Next time on The Walking Dead. Everything's going to be okay. I thought we'd be okay. fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Connie. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John oh. Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! So to starve them. Alright, so you and 54% players are honest. I was, yeah. <laughs> you and 47 players show Sean. I mean, to be fair, I don't like Doc, so that makes a lot of sense. You and 54% players defended Kenny, because, you know, screw them. I gave Irene the gun. Yep. Uh, and uh, I chose Carly. Yeah, that's that's fair. I like those odds. I'm very happy with that. Those are good decisions. have it. Episode 1 of The Walking Dead, the first season. That was quite a long one. I mean, yes, there were little brief interruptions and, um, you know, things happened, but, you know, two hours, just over two hours. I think I just have to watch this. That's right, Lily and Larry. I don't care about either of you guys. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but you're both dying. Ah, oh, that was quite a journey. We've only just begun. Yo, Ninja, no Ninja. Oh, 
sorry. 2012 to 2014. Alrighty. And that wraps up this um, playthrough. Just gonna check the YouTube. Fair enough. All right, that concludes this stream. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I will come back at some point in the near future with episode 2 of The Walking Dead but until then uh, that's everything